How much did we make today? Five million. How much did we lose today? A billion. You got rich dudes pissing in their pants right now. Welcome back to Click Capital, everybody. And that was just a short clip from the trailer of the upcoming movie Dumb Money, which tells a story of the meme stock saga surrounding GameStop back in 2021, which was kicked off by this guy here, Keith Gill, also known as Roaring Kitty Online, who was played by the actor Paul Dano, which is hitting screens around the world shortly. And it should be a good watch, as a lot of us will remember this time in the markets and how crazy things got. And so this guy, Keith Gill, started it all on Reddit under Wall Street Bets, but back in 2020, saying he's been building a large position in GameStop, leveraging most of his wealth into it. And he helped drive a lot of attention towards the stock. And he also highlighted the fact that a lot of hedge funds were short the stock and it had a lot of potential short squeeze to it. And I think he started with something like 100 grand or 150 thereabouts. And in the end, through the use of options and the explosive moves in GameStop, his position ended up growing to 34 million and he always used to share screenshots of it on Reddit. And so that helped drive a lot of interest. And here's a look at the stock chart of GameStop back then. And he'd started accumulating around the middle of the year. And this is a split adjusted chart as GameStop has done a four to one stock split since then. And you can see here in late 2020, the price started ripping. And then going into 2021, it just went absolutely parabolic. And it was this period here that drew a lot of attention from the media and even Congress. And everyone sort of got involved in this. And this is a logarithmic chart. Let me change it to a non-log chart. And you can just see how crazy the move got. And so split adjusted, the price went from like two, three dollars a share in mid late 2020, all the way up to $120 a share, which before the split was over $400 a share. And that kind of just blew a lot of people away. However, something really interesting and unprecedented happened around these few days here when price of GameStop went parabolic. Because there's a real herd mentality on Reddit and amongst retail traders to kind of pile into this trade and cause a short squeeze on a lot of hedge funds that were short the stock. However, once price ripped right up there, traders woke up one day only to find that the buy button was blocked in their brokerage apps and they could no longer buy GameStop and a bunch of other meme stocks. And that's normally something you see in a bucket shop with over-the-counter OTC trading. However, for that to happen on an actual exchange is truly historic and still to this day is a very controversial measure and one that a lot of people will say mostly benefited the hedge funds that were short the stock. And I think there's some truth to that because it could have gone a lot higher and caused a lot of problems for some of the biggest hedge funds on Wall Street if it didn't get stopped. And one of the most famous hedge funds that was short the stock was Melvin Capital, which had Ken Griffin Seidel as an investor. And he took huge losses because of the short squeeze in game stock and that ended up actually costed him his hedge fund. He closed it down within a year of the short squeeze. And retail traders actually brought a class action lawsuit against Robinhood and Seidel Securities. For this, however, of course, a federal court dismissed it and that was kind of the end of it. So that brings me to the topic of today's video, smart money versus dumb money. What is it and how can you follow the smart money to make better trades? Well, typically, dumb money is considered all non-institutional investors and traders. It's a pretty broad bucket. I, and most likely you that is watching this video, are probably retail, non-institutional investors, and so we're considered dumb money. And typically, smart money is considered the hedge funds, institutionals, Wall Street professionals, billionaires, and the such. However, just because we're a retail trader and we're not dealing in billions of dollars, that doesn't mean we have to be considered as dumb money. We actually have some advantages against the so-called smart money, and that's our size. We can take trades they can't, get into stocks that they can't, and we'll have less slippage getting into trades because we don't have to buy tens of millions or billions of dollars worth of stock to get into a position. However, counteracting that is traditionally small retail traders don't have access to the best information and usually an undisciplined process as well. However, smart money traders do leave some footprints behind that we can follow as smaller retail traders. And one way to do that is to follow the activity in dark pools. And for those of you who don't know, dark pools are kind of like private exchanges. So you can think of the public exchanges like the New York Stock Exchange, the NYSE and the NASDAQ as being lit up. That is, everything is transparent and you can see everything easily. However, in the 80s, regulators allowed off exchange trading to happen. And so basically anyone can start a dark pool. However, even the big exchanges themselves operate dark pools and broker dealers and other large trading groups. And basically big traders prefer to trade in dark pools because they can do all their trades for one price, what they call block trades. Because typically work in a large order 
into a public lit exchange. They have to kind of feed the order into the market and quite often they're picked off by high frequency trading algos that'll detect these large orders and front run them. So the advantage to big traders in dark pools is they can kind of hide their hand, do the trade all at one price, pay a lot less in exchange and brokerage fees, and there's no public order book in dark pools. However, regulations do require them to report trades. And that's what we can look at as smaller retail traders. And you can see here a list of some of the dark pools that operate out there. There's independent companies running dark pools and also some of the biggest banks in the world operate them as well. JP Morgan, Credit Suisse, Deutsche Bank, Fidelity, Goldman Sachs, Merrill Lynch, Morgan Stanley, the list goes on. They all offer private exchanges that big traders can execute their trades in. And then due to regulation changes of those trades having to be reported and publicly accessible, for a few years now, retail traders have been able to get access to dark pool data. A lot of the bigger companies like Bloomberg, Faxet, and a few others do offer it. Have it's very expensive. As you can see here from this one, dark pool data provider, they charge $720 a month. However, you don't need to pay anywhere near that to access dark pool data because I recently just developed my own unique dark pool percentage indicator on TradingView that anybody can use. And I've managed to find a data source and using my own unique algorithm, estimate what percentage of dark pool activity is buying each day and every US stock in ETF. And that's part of the reason why I'm making this video today. I've had a few people ask me to explain a bit more about dark pools and how to use my new indicator. And for those of you who don't know, you can still get lifetime access to my new dark pool percentage indicator for more than 50% off just for the next few hours only. You can get my new dark pool percentage indicator and all 22 of my custom indicators for TradingView for just a one-time fee of $237. And you can get that by going to my website, clickcapital.io forward slash deal. I'll put the link below this video in the description. And all you need is a free TradingView account to use all my indicators and there's no ongoing costs. And I do offer a seven day money back guarantee just in case you change your mind, no worries at all. However, let me show you more about the dark pool percentage indicator and kind of explain how it works and how you can use it to your advantage to make better trades and avoid losing trades. Because it's estimated almost half of all trading volume done is done in dark pools. So if you're just looking at normal price volume charts, you're only kind of getting half the picture and you're looking at mostly at what retail smaller traders are doing and missing out on what some of the biggest, best and most sophisticated traders are doing out there. And as a small trader, that's really our advantage. You could kind of think of us as like a fly on an elephant's back. We can easily jump on there without it noticing and get a free ride. And so here we are on this chart here looking at the S&P 500 ETF SPY, the most traded ETF in the market. And you can see my new dark pool percentage indicator here. And basically it has three levels. When it's above 55%, like on this day here, you'll see the shading of green. That's my indicator estimating more than 55% of the dark pool volume was buying and hence it's shaded green for bullish. Then if the daily readings between 45 and 55%, that's considered a neutral zone, neither bullish or bearish, and that'll be colored in orange. Then if the daily reading is below 45%, that'll be considered bearish and dark pools doing more selling, and that'll be shaded in the red. So pretty straightforward there. And what you'll notice, most of the time, dark pools are naturally contrarian. They'll buy the dip and they'll sell the rip and they have quite a remarkable track record of actually doing that. Whenever the market seems to dip, they seem to have always nailed it, if not potentially causing the dip in itself. And same again, when the market's a bit elevated, they'll pull back their buying. And dark pool traders can be doing trades that last days or weeks, what's considered a swing trade, but they can also accumulate and offload shares over weeks and months as part of more larger positions. And here's another example on the really popular stock Tesla. You can see back in the middle of last month, August, they were buying that dip and we even got the dark pool percentage reading indicator up to 66%, which is pretty bullish. And they nailed that. And you can see here up the top, they were really pulling back their buying. And they did some dip buys back in April, a little bit in March, and they were really accumulating when the stock was getting hit hard in late 2022. And a lot of you will probably remember how much negative sentiment there was surrounding the stock at the time on CNBC and the media. A lot of people coming out and calling for $50 a share. Everyone was worried about Elon's new purchase of Twitter and he had to keep selling Tesla shares to fund it. However, the dark pool traders were backing up the truck the whole time, accumulating stock all the way down to low 100s. And then sure enough, it hit the bottom and we rallied off hard. And now they've pulled back their buying a lot and the stock price has exploded higher. And we can see examples of this over and over again. Same deal in NVIDIA when it was trading down to low 110s. Dark pools were doing heavy buying. We're getting some really big readings on the dark pool percentage indicator. Same deal with meta platforms. November last year got hammered hard and dark pools were doing some huge buying. We even got a 74% reading back on the 4th of November. 
when the stock was trading at just $90 a share. And fast forward less than a year later, here we are at $300 a share. And like I said, this indicator can be used on all stocks and ETFs on US exchanges. Here's a look at the dark pool percentage indicator on the popular Treasury bond ETF TLT. And we can see in recent weeks, there's been a lot of green here, showing that there's likely a lot of accumulation going on at these levels. And we can see a bit of a similar pattern in the Gold Trust ETF GLD as well. And you can also use this and sector fund ETFs. Here's a look at the healthcare. And once again, you'll see the dark pool percentage indicator show them pulling away just as prices are peaking out and about to pull back. Then they do a great job at buying the dip, buying low and selling high. And so this is something we can all incorporate in our trading and just add it as another layer of analysis onto our existing strategies and just add more conviction and strength to our entries and exits. And here's another example in JP Morgan. Dark Pools have been doing a lot of buying in the last couple of weeks and they'd really pulled back in July as the price was getting a bit toppy in the high 150s. And earlier this year in March, they really accumulated in that dip down there into the 120s. And so it just kind of gives you a different look at the market because most indicators are kind of just based off technicals and that's kind of limited in what you can really tell about the stock because every single technical indicator is just based off two things, that's price and volume. That's the only two data points we get from an exchange and showing on a normal candlestick chart. So when you think about it, there's just normally an open, high, low, close and then volume for the day and every traditional technical indicator is kind of just a derivative of that information and there's only so much you can do with that. However, this indicator here gives you a completely different look at what's going on underneath the surface and what the big traders are really doing in the stock and whether they're accumulating shares or offloading. Here's another example on Chevron Corporation, CVX. You can see they did a big dip buy down here, getting up to 75% on the indicator before the stock price ripped higher. And just like corporate insiders, you'll find the dark pools are contrarian in nature. Like any good investor, they're trying to buy low and sell high. They're not buying the same thing everyone else is buying after it's doubled in a short period of time and everyone's talking about it on CNBC. That's when they're most likely to be selling. And like we can see here, they have a pretty good timing when things are just about to go sour and kind of getting out of the way and then buying the dip again. And here's an example of a stock they've been doing a lot of accumulating in lately, and that's Verizon, which has kind of been written off by a lot of people. However, we can see they've got a 7.8% dividend yield. And according to my stock fair value indicator, Verizon's still undervalued by 41% as well, with a strong business quality score. And these two indicators are also included in my all indicator package, which you can get for 50% off just for a few more hours. And these two indicators right here work on every stock around the world. European stocks, like we can see here on LVMH, the owner of Louis Vuitton and many other luxury brands. They work on all Australian ASX stocks, like we can see here on Fortescue Metals Group, which my indicator says is still currently 29% undervalued and all other markets around the world too. Here's an example on DBS major bank in Singapore, which my indicator is saying is undervalued by 64%. And so when you buy all my indicators, they'll show up in your indicator panel here and you just go down to invite only scripts and they'll be all there. And you can do what I do, create different chart layouts and save them like this one here with the dark pool percentage indicator and then my regular technical chart with all my custom technical indicators, including the buy sell bands, my dynamic swing index, which is an improvement on the RSI, my hidden divergence indicator, and my range strength indicator, which tells you if the market is currently trending or ranging. And these technical indicators work on every asset and time frame. So like I said, this special offer is only valid for a few more hours. So if you're interested in getting lifetime access to my dark pool percentage indicator, along with all 22 of my custom indicators that I've coded up for the TradingView platform over the last couple of years, then head on over to my website, clickcapital.io forward slash deal, or click the link below the video in the description. And all you need is a free TradingView account. Then you just come to this page, enter your email address, TradingView username, check out safely with Stripe. And then within a few hours, all my custom indicators will show up in your TradingView account and you can start looking for opportunities straight away. And you'll also get access to all future indicators I make free of charge as well. And like I said, there's no ongoing costs from me or sneaky upsells, memberships or any of that. It's just a one-time fee and you're welcome to test them out for a week. And if you decide they're not for you, no worries at all. I'll give you a 100% money back guarantee. And also on this page is a video where I go into all my indicators in detail and how to best set them up and use them. So if you want to learn more, head on over to this page, clickcapital.io forward slash deal and take advantage of this special offer while you can, because I promise I'm not going to sell all my indicators for this cheap ever again. And that's a wrap for this video. I hope you found some value in it and I look forward to sharing my custom indicators with you as well. Speak soon guys. Cheers.